Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This time it is um, for, uh, well it's not exactly a bracelet, but I'm going to show you how to use your rainbow room uh, for something. So, um, I know that um, a lot of the alpha room is a pretty big um, product and I, I guess this is kind of late to have this video out, but oh well. So, um, I thought I would show you if, how, what to do if you don't have an alpha loom and you wish you have one. And it doesn't cost you any money. Um, so, if you don't have this or you lost this or it's occupied like mine is, um, what you can do is just get two pin bars and like four little bases usually work. Uh, that's what I use. And put them together like this so you don't even have to buy two looms because you only need two pin bars. Um, and you have to take the two of the bases and put them uh, next to each other like this the farthest one way. And on the other two, the farthest the other way. But anyway, and then you have, it leaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows, just like the alpha. So now, what you need to do is just uh, chart. You can just get some graph paper and chart out your thing, or you can download some templates at rainbowloom.com, whichever you prefer. But, um,. What you're going to do first is uh, you can just take your first row, you, and if you have alpha bands, you use them, but also just capping normal bands works. It's just the same. And it might be a little more difficult on the rain balloon because they're. Uh, this isn't really designed to do this, but it does work. It's not impossible. And then you just lay your first row. Remember, you have to twist the first row. And we've gone across five and the six. Oops. If you're having difficulty getting these bands twisted, um, you can use your hook like this. Like you can put the band on this peg. Oops, I just lost my band. So you can. Put the band on this peg, and then take your hook and twist it on this peg, and it's easy to do that. But now we're done laying our first row. We can just get a clear band. Why did I not think ahead? Ah. some clear bands and you just take the clear band on one of the rows and stretch it across all seven pins like you would on the alpha loom though this will be a little more difficult because the pegs are a little farther apart but um, again it's possible and now you need to lay your next row without twisting so I'm not going to really teach you how to do this because there's plenty of alpha loom tutorials out there um, because this is just a tutorial on how to convert your rainbow loom 
into an alpha loon. Because it is so super easy. So I guess I'll just do this with you and then go bye bye. And then you need to just take your hook and release the tension on this clear band. And then, uh, the only downfall about this is you can't use the comb. So, you have to individually lift up each of the bands. But, we're good at that. You just go from the side and bring up all these cap bands. And then the sequence, while well, you had to push it down. But then the sequence would start again, because you have your one band laid on the pegs. So then you'd do the clear band, blah, blah, blah. And then, so I'll go over with you one more time real quick. Um, clear band, you should always put it on the same side. You can kind of give it a little pre-stretch if that helps before you place it on because there we go good clear band don't break on me now and then just lay your next row so I'm gonna do this well I'll just do it with you why not I think this is our 97th video I know when I search our channel comes up and doesn't update the number very quickly. So we're almost 200. And there we go. And then you just need to flip the clear band over and then Flip these bands, the bottom ones over. Just like so. <laughs> Come on. Don't you hate messing up on camera? I did that in my embroidered bracelet tutorial part two. It was like I totally messed up four steps and we had to go back and fix them, and it was really embarrassing. <sighs> and on the other side also and then that's really all you gotta do and you just keep making your alpha loom bracelet like this on the ring and you don't even you can say oh look at this cool alpha loom bracelet and I didn't even have to buy the alpha loom you can amaze your friends but anyway Thanks for watching this tutorial, um, and uh, can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.